When you're cleaning up your homes and maybe your diet this spring, there are certain foods you're going to want to keep in your diet. And to tell us why is registered dietitian nutritionist Carissa Beeler. Carissa, how you been? I'm good. How are you guys? I'm good. I'm good. I love when you come in because you always kind of attempt to make me eat a little healthier in a good way good. and you always you do always succeed I will say that I'm, much. I'm happy to hear that and I want to focus on clean eating because sometimes we think about what we're pulling out of our diet yeah and I want it to be a positive thing so everything I have here today are foods that we want to keep in our diet and we're focusing on things like smart snacking and fiber and antioxidants okay words I can handle yes. so you're starting off good yes yeah, so we're starting over here you know Greek yogurt is a big thing right. but we're we're gonna move Greek yogurt over because this is Muna and they are reimagining cottage cheese. I love cottage good. cheese. Good. They've got nine rich, creamy, delicious fruit on the bottom flavors. So what you're getting is high in protein but low in sugar and a good source of calcium with potassium and so much delicious flavors because that's what we look forward to when we're eating, right? I see you checking them out. I oh I am. Yeah, so this is got, like right up to, my alley. I'm gonna let you keep these and take these home, but they've got vanilla as a new flavor, black cherry, raspberry. So the different varieties have everywhere from 14 to 19 grams of protein. And what's really cool is it's now powered by probiotics. So there's B lactose in it. So you're getting those good for you probiotics. And that's what you get in yogurt, which is why Greek yogurt was all the rage. It was all the rage. And there's nothing wrong with that, but this is just such a new flavor. And then again, lower in the sugar. So great for a snack, but even for that breakfast, because we don't want to skip breakfast. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And God. also what I'm digging, I've kept my hands out until the segment started. <laughs> now we're officially in, so this means I can pick, right? You can snack. So again, when we're snacking, I like Wonderful Pistachios because they have a trio of plant protein, fiber, and those better for us unsaturated fats. And they are known as, you might not know this, the skinny nut. I was going to say, what, what is the skinny nut all about? Okay, so that means that in 100 calories, you're getting a very generous 30 per piece serving, which is more than any other tree nut. So you're being oh. able to eat more, and then as the cracking of the shells happens, slows down your snacking so that you feel full but you don't just kind of eat mindlessly eat as much and you know what's better I always have like the bowl of shells oh, yeah so I then can see how much you see I've what eaten, which is a really positive. visual cute so I've got something new though from wonderful pistachios Ooh. too this is the natural raw so this is kind of as close as you can get to just being straight in the orchard no roasting and no salting has been done so for people looking to add more really clean plant protein into their diet that's the way to is do that it what I just ate no, you ate our roasted and salted. I was going to say, because it tasted roasted and salted. <laughs> I was going to really be surprised there. But moving on, I'm seeing bread, seeing which bread. is so good don't, because people want to cut it out all the time. do, and they don't want to cut it out. I don't want you to cut it out because, again, don't cut out foods that have great benefits for you. And I'm talking specifically about fiber. So we actually call it a nutrient of concern because so many Americans aren't getting enough. And you can get fiber from Grain foods. Good old bread. Grain foods. So when we have fiber from whole grains in our diet, an overall healthy diet, it's going to help us because it's going to help improve our blood cholesterol, even reduce our risk of things like stroke, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and obesity. And it's bread. I love that. Right? So I made a really fresh lemon dill salmon salad sandwich. Great for lunch. Even great for sandwiches for dinner are good. And then in the grain foods, you get fiber, folate, iron, your B vitamins, and they all help with healthy aging. See, I, th could you come back every day? I will. I'll bring you bread. When, I, when I'm around people, every it's day. like no bread. It's like, yes, but bread. my dietitian told me to have the grain foods. I like it. All right, last but not least, antioxidants. So I want you to hydrate, I want you to get antioxidants, and I don't want you to get added sugar. So we've got Palm Wonderful. There was a study done, an in vitro study at UCLA, and found that when we're comparing antioxidant capacity, yeah. pomegranate juice has more than red wine, grape juice, or green tea on really? average. Really? Yes. So a really great way to get a boost of antioxidants, but Palm Wonderful 100% pomegranate juice doesn't have added sugar, fillers, or preservatives. This looks a little thick. So I made a smoothie. So I used the Muna cottage cheese, frozen Ooh. strawberries, and the Palm Wonderful to make a smoothie. And because this has potassium, it's a great way to get your electrolytes after you exercise and you're not getting too much added sugar, you're getting natural sugars. And then the protein from the Muna. That's good. Yeah, and That's then so good. what I love about this, an eight ounce bottle is two whole pomegranates. Mm. Treat a table. Good stuff. Well, we got to wrap because I okay, got to get eaten. You got to keep eating. I'm going to have some cheese. And there some we go. Tachos. As always, Chris, where can we stay up to date on you and everything that you recommend to keep us all healthy? Go to carissabuehler.com. There you have it.